And this wasn't the family's first stop. In fact, the family tells me they, they took the girl to one hospital where she was listed in fair condition. They then brought her here where doctors found her injuries were much worse. She just disappeared. She just disappeared. My brother's like, where's my baby? And we look and she's over there. It happened within seconds. I was coming out to grab my niece's siblings so her parents could go wash clothes. And just a six year old Milani Francis had her father in her sight. And she threw her arms on and said, Daddy, to go give him a hug on the sidewalk. And she ran out to the sidewalk right here. And that's when the guy came and hit her and dragged her all the way to the bus stop over, like maybe like a couple inches, few feet. It happened Thursday afternoon, police say, right outside Kayla Corral's apartment on Fullerton near Keeler Avenues. He hit her really hard, and then she got caught up in his wheels, and she was stuck, and he dragged her over there. She finally got untangled, and he just was looking back, saw her on the floor, and just kept going when we were waving him down. She says a nearby police officer caught the 16-year-old a couple blocks away before the family rushed a girl to Community First Hospital, where she initially was listed in fair condition. But Corral says they then took her straight to Lurie Children's Hospital, where doctors found her injuries to be critical. I transferred her over to a different hospital where they told us she was bleeding internally. Now as Milani recovers, her family thankful her life was spared. I just don't get how somebody can do that to a kid and just keep going and just not stop and wait to see if they're okay. And the family says they aren't sure when little Milani will be released from the hospital as police say no citation was issued. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.